these size objects can not be seen with regular light microscopy. They can only be seen with electron microscopy. And at that time, I didn't know much about electron microscopy, but now I know a heck of a lot more. And it's really unclear when you're seeing these things under the microscope, are they real? In other words, did they exist in the biological organism mm -hmm. that you're looking at? Or are they just an artifact of the process of microscopy itself, which involves really beating the crap out of the tissue in order to be able to see it? Because an electron microscope can't actually see carbon-based material. So you're not visualizing directly the biological material. You're visualizing metal oxides that are like applied like a thin layer on top of the biological material, which is then evaporated <laughs> with ray guns, so to speak, and then you're just seeing the metal. So during that process were artifacts created. And if we look at some work that's been done out there, like by Harold Hillman, for example, we can see that other subcellular structures on that order of magnitude size-wise are clearly artifacts of the process and not really part of the biological cell. So that question exists still with these little roundish particles that we are referring to as viral particles or exosome particles down the line.